Hey, what's up everybody? I am getting ready to start my next project, which is converting my foundry into a propane uh, fueled foundry. So here is the current setup I have. Just the uh, air intake pipe that uh, I put a hair dryer behind to force air into uh, this well here, which would have charcoal as my fuel. But uh, I saw Grant Thompson, who has a YouTube channel that's very popular, create his own foundry, uh, a propane fueled foundry, using basically <clears throat> these various materials. Hey everyone, I'm going to cut in here for a quick second and leave this list of tools and materials I use throughout the project. So if you'd like, you can pause it here to look it over, or if not, we can continue on with the project. The materials I'm going to be using are basically the same ones I saw on his video with a few tweaks based on the availability of materials at my Lowe's, Fastenal, Menards, and then one thing came from Amazon. I will have a write up in the video description of all these pieces including the tools that I'll need to finish this project but to give you a quick rundown of the materials the first thing I need to get and I got this from Amazon was a uh, propane gas regulator which allows me to get up to 40 psi this was it was roughly 30 bucks online and as soon as you jump up to the 50 psi options it gets far more expensive so um, that was about as high up as I wanted to spend. Um, then I have a reducer here made of brass that takes us from a 3 8 inch, which is the female connector off the end here, to a quarter inch, which allows me then to connect to my quarter inch ball valve, which allows me to control uh, within the system the flow of propane to be able to turn it off completely whereas this only allows you to regulate between um, roughly 10 and 40 it says zero here but it doesn't have the ability to shut it off completely so to give me that that option I have this as well as on the propane tank um, but I want something closer to the actual flame to give me more control then I have a quarter inch brass nipple which allows me to go from the ball valve to the coupler here which is also a quarter inch so the pipe nipple will be going into one end and then a brass plug will be going into this far end here. Within this brass plug, which this was actually one of the hardest pieces to get, there was a bunch of quarter inch uh, brass bushings which has a hole in it, but uh, I actually need to have control over how big that hole is so I'm going to have to drill through here with um, a drill bit and then tap it out so that I can then put um, this welding tip into the end of the brass cap. So basically what that will do is uh, be a really tiny aperture for the propane to come through and uh, that will be the point of flame. Then this little contraption right here with the brass plug in it and the welding tip will be suspended in the middle of this coupler, or I'm sorry, this reducing coupler in the middle here. I'm gonna have to drill four holes through the thick part of this reducer and then tap those out as well so I can have screws coming in four different directions to hold that in place in the middle. Then this reduces down so I can get to a one inch black steel pipe and then if necessary have this reducer going out the other way to slightly um, allow for the flame to kind of come out in the direction that it wants. Evidently some people have success with it on and some have success with it off. So this might not be necessary, but we'll see once we get the build done. Now on to the building phase. Well, since my drill press is in the garage and it's raining right now, I'm going to start by filing down four sides of this reducer coupling. Once I do that, I will drill into it and then tap into it and that will be the entry point for the four screws to hold the uh, flame producer in place. The 
thought it would have worked, but it would have taken forever. So I'm going to switch over to a grinding wheel and make my life a little easier. Alright, so I didn't have a mask on for the beginning part of that grinding. That was a bad idea because I definitely inhaled some uh, metal filings, or at least I feel like I did. So I put on a mask shortly after I realized that, but uh, definitely wear a mask if you're doing this. There's our little chickens. And we'll try not to cause too much problems for them when we get this drill press going. Now this is the new drill press I got. It's a 20 inch Craftsman, 12 speed. I'm gonna use this to drill the brass plug as well as the four corners and then to tap, tap it as well. Um, this is almost exactly the same size as the six millimeter tap. So I would highly recommend or I at least would need to use a drill press. I don't think I could be exact enough with a regular drill. So all the drilling and tapping is complete. All that's going to take is for me to put Teflon tape on all the connections with the exception of the elbow joint that's going to attach here. We'll just leave that <clears throat> without Teflon so it's easy to take off. And um, I will be getting this set up with the camera off to the side so hopefully you can see everything okay. Alright, everything's been Tefloned up that needs to be, so I'm going to try to assemble this as best as possible in frame. Um, let's see, this opens this way, so I want this to be 
in this direction towards the gas source. Then I'll put the nipple on. And actually, I'm going to do this out of frame, but I'm going to go tighten this on with a wrench real quick. Okay, so now that is screwed in. We're going to do the same thing with this. Get it finger tight and then wrench it in place. And I'll actually do that in the vise here. So you can see it. Let's see if I can. That's good and tight now. And now let me put the welding tip in. First thing is screwing these in until they meet roughly in the middle. that in there and then I'll screw the nipple onto there Here is the completed torch, and then I have a POL fitting already on here. It came with it on the pressure regulator, and POL, from what I understand, actually stands for uh, Prestolite, I think, which was the original company that made these. So you're looking for a POL adapter if yours doesn't already come with it. But now we're going to go give it a run, see if it lights. All right, I have the propane tank set as far away as the hose will allow me. Um, propane's on, the ball valve is shut off though. I'm gonna get this started um, once I turn the ball valve on and use this old crucible that already cracked on me because this got uh, really hot and I didn't temper the crucible. But uh, let's get it started here.